What's going on, everyone? It's Steve here at the DJ Lab, and just want to show you quickly where you can find the Serato DJ 3.0 Beta 3 download if you can't wait for the full release to come out. This is very simple. You hop on the Serato.com, you go up onto that community link there, look for the forum, pull up the forum, and if you look right down here, you're going to see there's a Serato DJ Pro 3.0 public beta. Keep in mind, you do need to sign up to be on the forum like you need to be an actual member in order to do any of this stuff it only takes two seconds it's not a big deal if you're using serato chances are you already have a username and log and all that fun stuff um so we got lots of cool things here there's the serato stems tips and tricks lots of messages in there and then you go down there is the light version right there and then there's the latest pro beta so this is the DJ Pro 3.0.0.66B. Um, we now have support for the new Mac OS Ventura and um, you know all the new controllers that just came out recently, like the uh, Denon DJ SC Live 2 and the SC Live 4. Um, surprisingly, we got support there for the DJ 808 by Roland, the Reloop Elite Mixer, the new FLX4 controller from Pioneer, uh, what else we, with the Rain DJ 70 and the uh, 70 A track edition? Apparently, that um, there's improvements to Serato Stem audio separation, which I already thought was good to begin with, but apparently it's a little bit better. The biggest fixes for me as we go through this stuff is uh, they're fixing things with the DJMS9 mixers and stuff, but the biggest one for me is that they fixed an issue where the Denon DJ SC 5000, 6000, 6000 M and Prime 4 screen displays would stop responding. And that was the deal breaker for me because I've got a Prime 4 here and I have a pair of 6000 M's and I couldn't use it. So now this new update has fixed it and they've been running great ever since. Um, so yeah, you just download your Mac version, your Windows version. I will warn you, you might think you have a fast computer. This is going to let you know very quickly if you do or you don't. My recommendation for anyone who doesn't have one, at least bare bone minimum, have a Mac Mini M1 8 gigs. Because I picked one up cheap, um, worked out really well for me. I've been using that a lot and don't have any issues at all. So it's definitely, in my opinion, worth the time. If you need to buy a new computer, this is a good reason to do it because stem separation on Serato is a lot of fun. Grab yourself that copy, play around with it. Even if you have a slightly older computer, it might take a moment for it to pre-compute the stems. Um, it gives you an idea. Once you see what you can do, you're probably going to go want to buy a new machine shortly after all this. Um, I predict this is going to come out full out of beta, hopefully December 1st, along with the Rain 4 release that day. Anyways, my friends, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit the alert button, and when new stuff comes out, you'll be first to know. Talk to you soon.